Oh, yep, it's another one of those crickets. So this is known as a Mormon cricket. And um, in the early pioneer days, these just decimated the crops one of the years, and it was a really dire situation. And um, California seagulls came in and basically saved the pioneers by eating these crickets. And that's why the California seagull is actually Utah state bird now. They're really interesting crickets, but they, they're known for just absolutely destroying crops and stuff. That was so strange. Here we are way out in the desert, super, super dry. And we just saw a, a toad. I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh, you see it? Oh, we found it. We got it, got it. <laughs> what? He was just hopping on the ground and then he hopped into a gopher hole. Carson, can you hold it? Carson, so this is a woodhouse. a woodhouse toad. I've never experienced that where a toad was just hopping on the ground in the middle of the desert. Like I've seen him near water sources and at nighttime, but we are like in the middle of the afternoon in the summer and he was just hopping around the desert. You see the toad, Blake? Get it, Blake. Get the toad. All right, I'm just gonna put him where we found him. Thank you, little guy. We just had a western whiptail run out. Are we gonna try to catch him? Yeah. Yeah, this will be really difficult to catch. Why don't you try scaring him up towards me? And then Carson, you just be ready to pounce on him. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. He's over this way now. Okay, that's really good, we got him away from that cover. Well, it appears that the whiptail has eluded us. Because we can no longer find him. So this lizard is very active because it's been out in the sun. <laughs> that was actually really crazy that we were able to get him. Yeah. So this is a western whiptail. Um, we actually made a video on one of these about a month or two ago. I think he's under me. We just watched a grasshopper land into this spider web and you can see he's starting to creep out. crazy. You can hear the spider's jaws crunching on the grasshopper. That's crazy. This is a velvet ant. I've actually been stung by one of these before and it hurt pretty bad. I I don't know if it was this. There's a lot of different types of velvet ants and I think it was a different type. So I don't know how the sting of this particular one would be but I just know when I got stung it hurt pretty bad. There he is. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's coming. coming right towards you. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he's up. Whoa, look at that. He's up in the sagebrush. Hey, Check where? that out. Right next to you. Should I get him? I can get him. It's really pretty snake. Oh, he's right there. There you go. That was interesting. It. Yeah, 
Look he's at basically that. running Look from us that. in the tops of the sagebrush. There he goes, right up to where he was. But it just cruised around top of all these. Yeah, I'll go right. Look at that. That's so cool. So just a tip, if you're looking for racer snakes, every single one I've ever seen has always been close to water. You can see we've got a river close by right here. And they, they also seem to be out like in the middle of the day, unlike a lot of other snakes. Like right now it's about 11.30 and he was just cruising around right here. And that's kind of how it's been every time we've seen one. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.